I want to try to greedify my sight a little bit in this episode. Uh, so I want to greedify this area right here. So make it a CSS grid. Because I don't like the way it looks right now. It's okay. It's, uh, it's very usable. Uh, you just have these videos right here and that's it. So, but I want to make it uh, look visually a bit more appealing. So I want to break up, break up this layout into more components that are going to be stacked uh, on each other and so on. So I actually want to do something like this. Right, so if I uh, check out to the Gridify branch of my site, now, as you can see, the latest series are on the bottom of the page, but this is my latest video section. And here we have one big video, then a bit smaller one. Then we have four small, small videos, which are just text, right? And then we have four more uh, boxes right here with some more videos. So we have one, two, six and ten videos. So we have ten videos right here instead of the uh, eight videos in the previous uh, version so in this version right so the latest videos are now down here so i just want to break out that a little bit and uh, create a new design for my site and i'm actually going to put it online once i'm finished with it but in this episode i just want to show you how i'm going to do that i probably you won't learn anything new, maybe a little bit about October, if you're in interested of, in October. And we are going to use uh, grid template areas to create uh, the layout like I just shown you. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to create a new branch. And I'm going to call it gridify video. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, check out to that branch grid check out. Okay, and now we are on gridify video branch. And now we can do whatever we want right here and it won't affect the master branch until we um, merge it to the master. So I'm just going to work in two files. So the first file is called uh, homepage.htm in which I call all of these videos. Uh, as you can see, the syntax highlighting isn't the best here because PHP Storm doesn't have syntax highlighting for October. So it looks a bit weird. Uh, and I'm going to use this uh, video list.scss file in which I'm going to create my uh, new styling for, for uh, my video list. Let me just make it a bit bigger. Okay, and first of all, I'm just going to add a comment right here, and I'm going to call it uh, so home page videos, and I'm going to do all of my CSSing here. Okay, save this. Uh, first of all, what we need to do is we need to go right here into homepage.htm and actually call, as you can see, I'm calling eight videos here. So sort by descending, create that, uh, take eight. So prepare eight videos to be shown on the page. Uh, we are actually going to be needing 10 videos, right? So I'm just going to take 10 videos and then uh, I have this latest series right here. So I don't wanna use that. I wanna use the latest videos. So this is my latest videos uh, section. And I'm just going to uh, cut it out and put it above my uh, series section. Videos should be at the top of the page and as you can see there are 10 of them now and uh, the latest series uh, is on the bottom of the page. Okay, so what next? Uh, well, what I need to do now is I need to create three uh, different kinds of vi videos. So one is going to be the large one, which we are we can call featured or something like that. Uh, then the next one is going to be a normal post, which are those four boxes at the bottom. Uh, and, uh, and the one on the right side, the bigger one. 
and then I'm going to have small posts which are going to be those four just uh, you know uh, textual posts so without the image or anything so to do that uh, first of all this is my loop so this is going through uh, all the videos and displaying them on the page of course that won't work for us so instead of that i'm just going to write a video in videos but i'm going to slice it slice uh, so that it shows only one video so zero to one and if i save this uh, go right here as you can see now I have only one video right here and Also, I'm going to give it the class of video list item featured If I need that class and uh, for the grid so for the grid layout, I'm just going to call this G large so I'm going to prefix uh, my classes with uh, G letter so G large and one more thing that this featured video does have but all the other uh, videos don't uh, is it has a description area so uh, I'm going to create right here before this meta div I'm going to create intro text and it's going to be a p tag uh, and in here I'm going to have the intro text for my video so introduction text so video intro text if I save this now go to my page as you can see now I have this right here so I have this text uh, that comes before any one of my videos so this is this text right here and it's going to be shown on the home page okay so now we have that settled now we have to create um, a second type of video and it's going to, we are going to call it a normal post so this one is going to be called uh, featured featured and i'm just going to copy all of this and the second one is going to be called normal normal video and I'm just going to paste this in and now we are not going to slice it from 0 to 1 because we don't want to have uh, only uh, one normal video we actually want to have five of them so I'm just going to say from 1 to 5 and uh, also we are not going to have intro text in this one and everything else I think can stay the same save this and now if we check out this page now you can see we have one two three four five videos uh, and since they are displayed in the flex box they currently look like this okay so uh, there is one more thing I want to do right here because I want to add and not G large right here but G medium so this is going to be our medium post medium uh, and the medium is the size of the post of course so medium and now I want it to be G medium dash and the index of it so we need to have a number right here because we are going to need it in the CSS so I'm just going to do G medium uh, loop index so this is going to give me the number of the current iteration of this for each loop and if I save this uh, go to right here and now if we inspect these elements so as you can see this is now called G medium 1 and then we have uh, G medium 2 and then we have G medium 3 4 and 5 okay so this is great and the uh, next thing we need to do is we also need to have uh, not abnormal video but we need to have a video that is going to be only a small it's going to be a small video and it's only going to have text so only going to have a title it's not going to have any images in it so I'm just going to call this 
small video. And we can paste this in also. And now we are going to go loop through items six through nine. So we are going to get four uh, videos that are without an image. So in these videos, we don't need this video image right here. We don't need that. Uh, next thing, let me just see. So uh, we are going to have something called a block link right here. So uh, I usually call this element block link because it's going to be absolutely positioned link inside of this article. So uh, when you hover over the whole, whole article, the whole article is actually going to be a uh, link or the whole v the area of that post is going to be a link. You will see in just a second. So we are going to have that block link. Then we are going to have uh, a title, uh, <clears throat> video title. Then we are going to have a series title and we are not going to have any meta information for this one. And that should actually be it, I think. So why do I have this small uh, normal video right here? Because I copied it probably pasted it. Okay, so let's save this and now see what's going on. So as you can see, now we have one big video. So this is going to be our featured one. This is going to be a medium one. Uh, all of these are also going to be medium one. And then we have one, two, three, four videos without an image. It's only going to be text, right? So now we have set up our HTML next thing we need to do we need to set up our css so i'm just going to go to my video list that scss and i'm actually going to go to the home page and uh, call this video list home page uh, because uh, it's going i'm using this component uh, right here so I'm using it uh, right here. And also I'm using it when you go to, let's say all videos, click on it. And now uh, you have all of the videos. So this is also a video list, but this one is appearing on the homepage. So I'm going to call it video list homepage. And since I did already call it like that, uh, now, as you can see, all videos are one below the other. So this is okay for now because we are going to add our our own stylings right here. So first of all, uh, I'm just going to go to my video list.scss and create uh, PHP storm is kind of uh, lagging a bit here. So video list homepage. And first of all, I'm just going to give it a margin of 40 pixels. Uh, and we are going to display grid. Okay, uh, the grid gap is of course going to be 20 pixels. And the, uh, we are going to have a columns and I'm going to create eight columns, one fraction each. So grid template columns is going to be repeat eight columns, one fraction each. And if I save this right now, check out uh, my page. As you can see, this looks the way it looks right now. But if I click right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. And actually two rows because grid is smart enough to know, okay, so eight articles uh, can go right here. Now we have to make another row to uh, put other two articles in it. Okay. 
So now that we did that, we need to define grid template areas. And since you know that this can be a bit complicated, I'm just going to paste it in so I, that I don't have to write all of this. And as you can see, so LG, 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 this is going to be our big video, our featured video. Then we are going to have MD video, uh, which is going to span uh, four columns and two rows. So this is going to be that bit smaller video. Then we are going to have uh, one, two, three, and four small videos, right? So the videos without an image, just text. And then we are going to have one, two, three, four videos that are going to be medium uh, template with whatever you want to call it. So it, they are going to be medium videos. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to define in which area all of those videos are going to go. So as you can see, uh, uh, the first video, so this one right here, featured one, has the class called G large. So if I go right here and do G large, uh, I'm going to put it in grid area LG. If I save it, now you can see that this looks a bit different, although it's uh, not what we want just yet. So this one goes to the LG area. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need to do, as you can see, it's not spanning the whole of LG area. And that's because I have defined the width of the video somewhere else in my code. So I need to uh, correct that right here or override it. And it's called video list item. And it's going to have a width of auto and the margin of zero. So if I save this right now, and now this looks a bit better. If I turn off this, uh, you can see now we have our lar large video right here. And all of the videos are just automatically placed wherever. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to define where all of these videos go. And with grid, that's pretty easy. Uh, that's why I given the uh, given them these names. So we have G large, and right here we have G medium. So uh, what we need to do right now is I'm going to go right here and do G medium one, medium one. It's going to go to grid area MD one. So this one is going to go right here. So it's going to span four columns and two rows. Okay, now we need to put something into the uh, grid area SM1. And that is going to be this G small one. And let me just check something out. So if I go right here where I have small videos, as you can see, I didn't change this. So small one or whatever the index of it is. So when I save this, uh, this should go right here. So as you can see, now we have medium here and uh, that small is not appearing where it's supposed to be. Okay, so I didn't actually <laughs> define it yet. So G small one, small one, it's going to go to grid area SM1. Okay, save it. And as you can see, now this is right here. Okay, so not to bore you with this, I'm just going to copy everything else here. So we have a G small two is, is, is in SM2, SM3, four, and then we have the rest of our medium uh, sized videos below that. So right here, 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 and here. If I save this right now, then we should be getting what I showed you at the beginning of the video. 
and uh, so that's about it of course I would add some more styling right here I will add some padding here uh, and so on just one more thing I want to show you so now we have to define uh, media queries for this and I have mixins for those and since I made this site a while ago uh, it's not mobile first but it's desktop first and going down to mobile so I'm going to define uh, how this should look for tablets and I'm just going to paste it so on the tablet display so that's from desktop to mobile somewhere right there uh, our uh, grid template areas are going to be looking like this right so we are going to have that featured theme, a featured video on top of it alone and then we are going to have few videos right here below it uh, those small videos without the image and then we are going to have all of the uh, medium sized videos so if I save this uh, this is okay right now but if I make it smaller right so this is our original how it should look but if we go down right now CSS a grid layout so this video is on the top now we have four videos without uh, images right here and we have the rest of our videos right here and also we have uh, this bigger video below these two so if we check this out uh, you can see that we have uh, those small videos right here then we have two uh, medium sized videos which are spanning uh, four columns uh, and one row and then we have this big video which is spanning eight columns so this is this one and then we have two more videos below that so md4 md5 and also i can show you how i made it uh, for the phones now i'm just going to say that this approach is a bit yucky to me because on the phone display what we should actually be doing what I would actually like to be doing is not use a grid but uh, use just a block because as you can see uh, now I just create the grid template with one column so for the phones and then we have grid template areas just defined right uh, like this so because we only have one column we are going to have the big video right here sm1 sm234 then md2 and then md3 and 1 and 4 and 5 okay so if i save this and go to the phone size as you can see now all of the videos are one below the other so we have the big one here four textual ones right here and then the rest of the medium videos okay so this is it for this video i hope i didn't bore you too much and please let me know if you maybe want me to do more of this type of videos where i show you how i did something on an actual project uh, if you want to ask me questions you can of course do that via youtube facebook instagram twitter wherever github my site uh, and of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like this channel and the content i put out please subscribe to it and if you want to send some money my way you can use the patreon page for that thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video